Hello, I am Sergey, and in this tutorial we will install and configure HESU-V so that it can be used with individual HRTFs only without head tracking. If head tracking is important, please consider the VST plugin based binauralization, which I covered in another video. On a very basic level, HESU-V together with Equalizer APO are open source programs that work together to effectively binauralize sound. That is, apply virtual surround by convolving HRTF impulse responses with up to 7.1 surround audio signal. And it works on a whole system. Therefore, absolutely everything you play on your Windows computer will be binauralized. In practice, you can try included virtual surround HRTFs from various sources. You can apply your individual HRTF from mesh to HRTF simulation, lab measurement, or from any other source and you can apply your recorded breeders from Impulsifer. All of this with relative ease and near instant switching between different HRTFs. Notice a written tutorial that's linked in the description. All links, updates, corrections and extra tips can be found there even if a video gets a few years old. So to start, let's install HESUV. We go to the Equalizer APO website and download it. And we go to the HESUV website and download that too. Save. And HESUV is going to start downloading as well. Notice that HESUV includes a lot of HRTFs by default. We go to the downloads and start installing Equalizer APO. Yes, next, agree, defaults are good. Download HESUV. We get the configurator window, which I will close right now because it's not that important to use it when it pops up. And it can be reopened anytime, okay. It says reboot now, but we will not do that. Finish. HESUV. We install HESUV, yes, a bit of installation, and that's it. Here it opened its installation tutorial, which is nice. Or you can also access the same tutorial from the tips page. Now we can start with the first configuration, which is using voice meter. Right now, my voice meter is configured to use VST host and Spartan binauralizer. And uh, let's check which device are we running. So we open Windows Sounds, playback, make sure that your voice meter input is selected. And that voice meter is set to 7 that once around. In the properties, I'm going to check that spatial sound is disabled because we do not want to binauralize twice. We are using 24 bit 48 kilohertz. For HESUV, it's very important to have exactly 48 kilohertz. For VST plugins and uh, mesh to HRTF generated SOFA files, you could as well use 44.1, but for HESUV, stick with 48,000. We go OK. And there is not that much to configure here. We need to open Equalizer APO Configurator and select Output A1 from Voice Meter as the device you want to use. Press OK. Notice that here appeared the A button. If I click on it, it says that bus insert is using Equalizer APO. That is a sign that Equalizer APO has connected to voice meter. Notice another thing in system settings, all of this virtual input for patch insert ASIO, you can disable it to reduce latency. Or in general, this works also on the regular voice meter. You do not even need voice meter banana to use HESUV. Now, after we did the changes to the configurator, it's good to restart audio service.
And again, we make sure that voice meter is selected. One thing to notice is you will not have head tracking with HESUV. And we are basically up and running. We can select some kind of existing HRIR, or you can convert any SOFA file into HESUV compatible format. If you go to the everyday use of SOFA HRTF in the HESUV section, there is a number of methods how to convert SOFA to HESUV, where the recommended approach is HESUV to SOFA converter PI file which also comes with its own little tutorial. The last thing we need to do is to actually open the Equalizer APO, which you open by opening Configuration Editor. When this window is open, Equalizer APO is working. And in the config, it says that HESUV has loaded its profile. It also shows us that the device it's going to use is output a1 from voice meter, which as we know is configured to your real audio device. And you can see that it correctly detected 7.1 channels on this device. You can add some additional modules, for example, preamp to make sure your signal is not clipping. An interesting thing is if you change something in HESUV, you actually don't see it in the Equalizer APO interface until you do some change in this interface. So for example, I just toggle preamplifier off and you can see that the new HRTF is being shown. So the changes are applied instantaneously, but you will not see them in this graph unless you make some change in the Equalizer APO. In case you still do not get any sound after you do all of this, my suggestion is to restart your computer, which I'm going to do right now. I just restarted my computer, so to get HESUV working, we need to open HESUV and we need to open the Equalizer APO. And let's look at which device do we have set, voice meter input, which is good. And let's run the test. We can see that every channel appears on the level meters inside voice meter. Notice that if you use VST host binauralization, you do not see every individual channel. You will only see the left and right output from the VST host. Now you can easily switch between different HRIRs. And when you have your own individual HRTFs, you can put them in the same folder where the common HRIRs are located and they will appear on this list for quick selection. There is also Equalizer where you can load the uh, auto EQ profiles. And the Equalizer APO itself allows you to load various equalizers, including graphical EQ, where you can set any number of bands, and also parametric filters, and even convolvers. Now, when we have tried the universal voice meter approach, let's look at a special case in case you have native device which supports 7.1 channel surround. The interesting part is that most stationary PCs and some gaming notebooks already include onboard sound cards which are 7.1 surround capable. In my case, I have a stationary computer and if I go to the sounds, I can find here Realtek speakers. If you're going to plug in your headphones into auxiliary headphone output, you may not get access to the 7.1 surround options. But if you plug in your headphones into the speaker out at the back of a motherboard, you are most likely going to see this, where you can select 7.1 surround, which means you do not need voice meter or any other virtual sound card. So I just configure it like this. And now I can close voice meter. We do not need voice meter at all. Make sure it's completely closed. And we can go to the Equalizer APO. 
or in fact has V and open equalizer APO configurator and instead of output A1 from voice meter in this case I will select my Realtek audio speakers which I also have to set as default audio device and press OK it'll say you have to reboot but we will not do that instead we're gonna go to the actions and restart audio service So HASV allows us to change configurations without restarting. And now if we are going to configure, we should get the sound from the main output of the Realtek onboard sound card, which is binauralized with HASV. No need for virtual sound cards at all. One more thing, make sure your enhancements are not disabled you want enhancements to be enabled for Equalizer APO to do its thing. So the downside of native approach is that you are very limited in your choices of sound cards with good quality headphone outputs. Other than that, it's a very convenient, low latency way of configuring HESUV and uh, HRTF based binauralization. Finally, let's look at the additional methods. A very popular approach is to use Hi-Fi cable press ASIO for all, which is considered to be more stable and lower latency than uh, voice meter. I haven't checked this personally, but here is a tutorial for it. And uh, you will lose some of the convenience features in voice meter. Just notice that they are done by exactly the same company. Both Hi-Fi cable and uh, voice meter are from the same developer. And finally, there is a list of many more configurations and hardware and virtual audio devices which you could consider to try, which work for HESUV or can be used for VST-based binauralization, which are also linked in the main tutorial. Hope this video encourages more people to try virtual surround. After you experience the basic HESUV functionality, remember that it is possible to generate your own accurate HRTF using mesh to HRTF, apply custom headphone equalization, and try out other options for more personalization and more realistic sound for games, movies, music, and audio production. Have a great day!